Welcome back everyone to another episode of Rick's Gadgets. Uh, today I kind of got a little unboxing of the West Mountain Radio, the N8X JK uh, voltage booster. And what I was running into with my power wall is uh, being lithium ion, it only puts out a max of you know a little over 12 volts and my uh, ICOM radio likes 13 volts so what I wanted to do was to get this to boost my voltage up to the 13 volts uh, just so the radio would be happy and I could use it in emergency situations at least on low power um, and just try to get something for emergencies you know if I do lose power so what I want to do is show you what it is um, basically it's West Mountain Radio uh, it's a new product they had out this year uh, it was on back order for a while uh, finally got it in this week comes in a box has the directions on it and basically all it does is it takes an input voltage uh, anywhere between 9 and 13 volts and it will boost it up to 13 volts and what it's mainly designed for is for car batteries or something where you're getting on that lower end of the 12 volts and you're trying to run your operations and battery sags a little bit under load this will boost that power and it's adjustable where your cutoff is uh, you, it is adjustable I'll show you inside here in just a second but um, you can adjust where the cutoff is so if the voltage does drop this will shut off as well so that way you don't worry about draining your battery um, but it's basically pretty simple you have an input uh, and you have a 40 amp fuse and you have a remote panel so if you want to see uh, this remotely what the the stats are coming out of it you can get a remote panel for it and on the output side um, you can chain these together um, and have multiples so uh, if you need more than the 30 amps and you need 60 amps you can run two of these in series to get your voltage I mean your amperage up it also has a input for an antenna and that is used for sensing uh, RF and when you transmit it'll kick the boost in then instead of relying on when the, the voltage drops and of course you got the D, I mean your power pole DC out on that end so on the top side everything here um, you can adjust your output voltage here by a little pot screw low battery over temp and whether it's enabled or not for your RF adjustment right now I just have it enabled where it kicks in as soon as power is applied you can disable it that way it'll be a straight through or you can do an RF enabled and you can adjust your delay if you need to change the delay of when you start your transmit but that's it it's got a cooling fan and that is basically it on the outside so let me show you what it looks like on the inside okay now that we got it opened up uh, mainly there's three parts you get the main board here with your input and output um, then you got a second board here that has the input pins um, that you hook up to the side here and I'll see where the fan hooks up to to the um, to this board and this kind of sits like like this on the side so what I want to show you here on the inside is these pins here you can set your voltage to different cutoffs so I'm gonna lower mine down to 9 volts so I'm just gonna put that on the 9 volt pin and that way um, it'll run better with my lipo batteries um, but that's the look on the inside and now let's uh, show you hooked up to the radio and how it operates okay the first thing I want to show you here is I have it hooked up nothing's on the output so this is just the straight input readings and you can see here nothing's going through it so it's not drawing anything just sitting in the normal phase so now let's hook up the radio okay so now I've got it hooked up on the output side and as you can see uh, right now everything's off so let's start powering up so 
So you can see there getting 13.6 volts out and that's on 11 volts coming in. So it's up, upping the, the voltage to supply the radio so the radio is happy. So let me dial over here to a clear frequency and I'm going to turn the output down. I'm just going to do it to 10 watts. And I am in a dummy load here. So let's just key it up and see what happens here. And you can see the voltage stayed pretty consistent there. Keying up. So overall it works really well. Um, I've been playing with the, the output on the radio here on my ICOM and it is happy um, around 10 to 20 watts output. If I get much more than that it will cut off. So the battery outside is not quite strong enough to supply it. But like I said, this is mainly for emergency situations. I got this to boost it. And if I need to, I could use it in the car as well or on any 12 volt battery that uh, you need to work out in the field. But anyway, I uh, hope you enjoyed this. Like I said, quick unboxing here of the N8XJK battery booster from West Mountain Radio. I've been pleased with it. Um, like I said, you can hook them up if you need more amperage out. So it's a nice feature of it. Um, I'll put a link to the PDF of the, uh, the, the directions and the manual in the comments below. So if there's any questions or anything you want to look it up, you can. But anyway, I appreciate you stopping by and checking out this latest video here. And if you like it, give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And hope you come back and check out my future videos.